first of all, let me get this straight. This is a journal, not a diary. No, that doesn't sound right. Let me try again. First of all, I want to thank everyone who has been sticking around for these eight years. It means a lot to me. Perfect. Hey guys. Wow. It's been eight years since I made my YouTube channel. I want to take the time to say thank you. So, thank you for supporting me for this long. It's been an incredible journey thus far. I hope we can keep going, you know? Now, this is where I would stop the video for a video like this. But no. I decided to talk about my early stuff and how we got to this moment. So, let's start. Before I talk about my early stuff, we need to start from the beginning. We need to talk about the events that led up to this moment. On Christmas Eve of 2014, I got my copy of Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. I haven't gotten my PlayStation 4 yet, but I was happy I got Minecraft. On Christmas Day is when I got my PlayStation 4, along with Disney Infinity 2.0. I played Minecraft hours later that day, after one of my family members hooked all of the cords on the PlayStation. I didn't have a PSN account at the moment, but after a few days, I was given a PSN account and name that stayed around. I made a Minecraft world where I can build stuff in creative mode with my brother, but I mostly played it uh, by myself. I heard about Five Nights at Freddy's around the time, but you know, I wasn't a full on fan yet. I kept playing on the PlayStation for a while and met friends via communities during the time. And most of them were, you know, playing Minecraft because that was the main game I would play besides Little Big Planet 3. On November 20th, 2015, I asked one of my family members if I can have a YouTube account to make videos that, you know, uh, they made me a Gmail account on the same day, and I made a live stream on my PlayStation 4 playing Minecraft with a friend on the same day, and the rest was history. Now, if only if I had footage of my videos from 2015 through 2017. If you're new, then you probably haven't heard. My videos from the beginning of the channel's creation through 2017 were deleted. I don't know who did it, if it was me or someone else, but it remains as a mystery as to who deleted it. I kept going, but the deletions of the videos from my past uh, was a letdown for me. I wasn't having any motivation to continue at that point because the subscribers just being from something I did and feeling I didn't deserve them. So I made a new channel which you are currently watching right now. <laughs> I would abandon the old channel, but will keep on commenting even to this day, and would later rename it to the JG Archive channel. And that's where we are right now. Now that you know everything about the channel's history, it would be cool if I went back to my old Minecraft worlds that someone impacted my life. Not all of them impacted them, but worlds that I know very well doing. Anyway, we are going to have a lazy transition to the next part of the video, where I hop on Minecraft and go to these worlds and talk about stuff. Ooh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's been a long ass time. Ah. Oh, uh. oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the world that started it all. 
You will no longer get exalted. Okay. Oh my god. Let me fix this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> very slowly. Oh god, I remember the flying physics. The flying physics are different. There we go. It's not like bedrock. <laughs> so used to bedrock, I hate this. Whoever, whoever, like, joined my world, it was most likely a random person. Probably a random person of one of my friends decided to join my world. Thought it would be a good idea to, like, add water. Fucking morons. <laughs> but once I get this where there's no more water, I think I'll be fine and, you know, start talking and shit like that. It isn't like Bedrock, <laughs> I still need to get used to that. And... Console Edition is like... If I were to, like, rank all versions of Minecraft, Console Edition would be, like, first place. And then job would be second. Um, early pocket edition would be like third. And yeah, early pocket edition would be third, and then Bedrock would be like last place. Despise Bedrock. The only thing good about Bedrock was uh, you're able to use a Microsoft account okay, and also cross platform and stuff like that, but like, that really it. But hey, the bedrock is now the reason why, you know, Mania World is on download. On download. <laughs> so thank god for that. But honestly, bedrock sucks. Cause like... It's when like... Brought back a lot of memories. Like, people would be like on... Whatever they're watching, or Roblox, current Roblox think like that this is my childhood my childhood was just me with people i didn't know and like finally be a being able to like play with someone it was cool and felt happy my childhood was this playstation this playstation <laughs> little big planet minecraft this version Nintendo Wii and 3DS. Okay, we're almost there. The water's almost gone. Pretty sure I removed this water in the bedrock version of this world, but like, I have not. I have not visited this world in console. And I feel like visiting this world on console is like the definitive way to visit this world. Because it was the world that was made and that was always meant to be, you know, go around and like console. I don't, I don't, I feel like Bedrock is like so different than I am. Well, Bedrock is so different than that. That it feels different to be in this world. I remember like making a like a big PSN group chat saying who did this? Who griefed my Freddy Fazbear? If I can find photo evidence of There's no you can't find photo evidence. I don't know who was that person, but if I can find a photo of that Freddy Fazbear it would be a miracle.
Do I not? I don't have pick block, right? Oh, they, they, there's doors inside? Like, this is like a little house. There we go. Oh, wait, hold up. No, we're not. Springtrap still has its cobblestone and stone blocks. Okay. Now. That's better. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hold up. There we go. Is that purple? No, it's blue. It looks like purple. Harry! Um. Oh my god. Okay. I have a lot of emeralds. I need to get familiar. Because. So. I need to get familiar with the creative menu. They change so. So much. There we go. Now. Looks perfect. So we got spring trap. Yeah, seen. Yeah, seen better days. Chica. She also has seen better days. The cupcake. Looks alright. It's. It's. It's the heads from FNAF. It's FNAF 3. The heads from FNAF 3. I was trying to like what, do the mini game. No, not the mini game. The ending with where all the heads were like glowing. I, I thought it was. I thought that one was like cool. I think I built these like around where um, FNAF 4 was out, or, just, or FNAF. No, FNAF World because like. This, this structure over there is FNAF World. Where I tried to like, try to recreate the, the, the or all of the, yep. I tried to recreate all of the, all of the characters in this, but uh, that's Freddy Fazbear. Someone like griefed him. Ah, the iconic. Back when uh, my fucking YouTube channel was just my middle name. And here's that's all left. Here's all that's left of Freddy. Yeah. Here's Foxy. Someone made that. I didn't make that. 2016. What is this? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Chris, I remember this live stream that I did on my archive channel. Uh, it was like make it a theme park or something like that. And some people like join chat. I was like, yo, can I join the world? And like, they did, right? And like, their main motive was to like grief the world and say, oh, Hero Brian was here. And, like, that's what they did. Honestly, fuck those people. Like... But hey, at least I still had, like, a backup of the bat world. I unfortunately don't have backups of some worlds. Because of some data wipe I had. Had to do in order to, like, you know, save my PS4. I don't know, man. I just wish YouTube had, had like some sort of system where they still have their um they still have deleted videos in their servers, but like you can like ask. It would be cool if you can ask them if you can like recover said deleted videos because like those videos were like very important to my history, and having them back again would be. Such a wonderful thing to happen. It would be like a Christmas. It would be like a Christmas miracle, but unfortunately that would not not happen ever because, well, it, it just won't work. Like, won't. It doesn't work like that. 
So I, I don't see that ever happening. It sucks. I, 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 I had a thought. I wonder what that mind builder guy or bears or whatever they're called right now is doing. Cause like, if I can like reach out to him and ask him if he still have those old videos where um, me and him roleplay, I, it would be so great if he did. Cause like, those videos are very important to me. And if they're just gone, and like, it's, they're gone. Like, I want to, like, watch how I sounded and what we, what, what we, him and did, me and him did, yeah. It's like, I barely remember anything besides just, like, I did floor plays and shit like that. Aha. It is Trappy. The first version of, of Trappy. He has glass, not the first version, but, like, a Minecraft interpretation of Trappy. Yes. He, he has glasses. Which the Trappy from drawings from long ago does didn't have any glasses. What he did have were headphones, that's one thing for sure. But not glasses. Where's his bow tie? Ah, uh, here's my house. My <laughs> house. It's so small. Like, it's so small. What did I have here? Emeralds? Wool? Stuff like that. And then, like, an enchantment book. For whatever reason. I have an iron door, a button, and pets. I named them. I, I think I they, they, they My iron golem FNAF and my chicken FNAF. <laughs> Uh oh, sorry. For, sorry for that. You know. Yeah, my builder made this and that one over there. Honestly, this looks cool. It it's upsets me that these ears are um the wrong position. This one is supposed to go here and that one's supposed to go here. The ear over here looks doesn't look like that. It's I don't know. I think I'm now ready to talk about FNAF school. Alright, let me go to the place where FNAF school is. Yep. Oh, FNAF school. Alright, so FNAF school was a role-playing series I made around the, the beginning of my YouTube channel. So basically, if I can remember the plot of FNAF school, uh... You, the main character is Purple Guy. He is a teacher in FNAF school. His um, student, Bonnie, goes to these wild adventures and stuff like that. You know, Bonnie was like, was like played by what, Mind Builder. Because like, I think that was the only person that was, um, me and him just did everything. When there were like characters like Freddy and Chica, he would like <laughs> voice them or something. I don't know. Can't remember stuff, but like he tried to voice them. There's a VIP room. Why is there a VIP room? And it's a disco! But um, afterwards, like somewhere in like the end of season one. Uh, the purple guy goes to the spring body, <laughs> goes to the spring body animatronic, and of course, dies. They die, and turn into spring trap. That's not how you spell office. This is like the worst time to like record the 8th anniversary videos. 8th anniversary stuff because like I'm sick at this time oh my god here's the gym 
and people would like go outside and I don't know do what get ready for that next fast game get getting ready for the five nights of Freddy's like I I don't understand what was the purpose of FNAF school like why are these animatronics in like a school setting instead of like killing I mean I did do actual FNAF role plays but like in Minecraft but like why was why were they in school but like FNAF school I think that lasted for like <laughs> three four seasons Like, yeah, it's like some sort of story. I don't know. But like, all of these were like live stream. I didn't know how to like, I didn't know how to use Sheriff Factory. So what I did was live stream the, the episodes. I would live stream the episodes. And it was like all in one take. No edits, no nothing. So like, yeah, honestly, I'm glad-ish that I did this, cause like, it like, it would like, later on, I would later on do like, more role plays and stuff like that, but like, I guess my friendship with like, my builder like, grew as time went on. I mean, I barely talked to, I have not talked to the guy in a, like, in a long ass time, but that was FNAF school. I think, I think one of the main things from FNAF school was, um, not the main things, but like, yeah, there was like some sort of FNAF content in the channel, sort, sort of. I mean, I was a fan of, I was a fan of FNAF, but like, I couldn't do like videos on like, the first FNAF fan, not, no, not FNAF fan game, um, FNAF game on U YouTube, like, me recording the FNA F first FNAF game on YouTube, because like, didn't have like a, didn't have like stuff like, a computer, and I didn't know what was an OBS, so like, yeah, I think that's all I have to say for FNAF school. It brought it brought like a lot of memories. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> you made a series that was about Five Nights at Freddy's characters in a school setting. Uh, yeah. What's the problem? Uh, nothing. This stuff seems interesting. I want to know more about what you did. All right then. But I want no more laughing afterward. You hear? Fine. Yeah, whatever. All right. Good. Now to the next part. Oh my god. I love the there's just big statues, a yellow world, a house scientist, and a pizzeria in the middle of nowhere. Ah, yes, fretbears. Well, clearly, this is not fretbears. Ah, uh, 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 Five Nights at Fretbears, or I think that's how it's called. Five Nights at Fretbears was a role playing series where. Uh, Five Nights at Fretbears. And there's two seasons that exist. Why is Mickey Mouse here? <laughs> Photo negative Mickey? And Oswald. Who are you? This is something. I don't remember in Fred Bear season 2. There was PNM and Oswald. And regular Mickey. Mick Mick or uh, what? Don't go in. Do not go in. <laughs> I bu yeah, Fredbear, who is this, who is this, and who is that? Oh boy. In the office, okay. Honestly? Fredbear's, uh... It's a 
the gameplay would have been you look here, turn around if anybody's there. Oh, it's raining. There's vents. I believe there's a mask. A mask? Yeah, that is a mask. And there's supposed to be doors, but like, there's no doors. This just takes you here, where PNM is. Oh boy, Freddy. There was a, tw but uh, there was a Twitter post long ago. It was like, "Yo, Raptor Season Three coming soon." I don't have the Raptor Season Three building anymore because I don't know what happened. But uh, yeah. That was fret bears. That's all I have to talk about. It's time to go to this world. Oh my god. Oh my god, I wish I had like backups of the worlds before this. Anyways, this is the summer lol roleplay. Hi Oswald. Apparently Oswald is a mascot of this place, for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know why he has yellow in his pants. But, uh. It was a roleplay for sure. Um, I remember, like, way back. There was a photo naked, I swear. I remember. There was a photo naked of Mickey, like, somewhere in this corner. Somewhere, somewhere in these corners, in this back room. I swear to God. I was a. I was a sub obsessed with Fanati. And I still am. Um, if I can remember correctly, this is the first location, and this is the location, and this is the state of the location in season two. Can that fucking truck shut up? I'm trying to record. See, here's the season two location gone, it's ruined. I think I have photos. I don't know. And here's season three. I like the how the location's laid out for the, whatever reason. Here's the office. So basically you got the two doors. You go behind, you have the vents. Something I like. And here's rooms. Freddy Fazbear, I think. Oswald and whoever this guy is. Here, vents. Honestly, I like this. There's a blue guy over there. Backstage. The endoskeleton type, I believe, yeah. And that was it. That that was the summer lol summer lol roleplay. Okay, I need to see what other worlds do I have? Geometry craft. Oh boy. I wish. Okay. I wish I had the original Geometry Craft world, but unfortunately we don't have that anymore. We have is this version. To, yep, old Geometry Craft 2018 to 2018. This was still in 2.1 when the game was still in 2.1. Surprising. This is the treasure room. Yeah. I hope that user does not find my room and take my precious items. You get nothing. Mrs. Puff? Not wearable pumpkin. Version 1. Point, version 1.1. New levels, jumper, time machine, cycles, X-step, and clutter funk. Thanks, Brant. Uh, this is suicidal beer. Great. And a totem. A uh, ooka ooka. Clearly, the clearly we have a Minecraft Cinematic Universe, Craft Bandicoot, the Sonic Mania Minecraft World, and Geometry Craft is all in the same universe. <laughs> If I could pull up the trailer from Brant's channel right now, you can see there was like more than this. Because like, clearly there were supposed to be more levels. 
like Megalovania, airborne, airborne robots, and all of the other main GD levels. Everything was just Q because you couldn't you couldn't do the other playstyles. Minecraft, what are you, an idiot? <laughs> but hey, just use your imagination. Oh boy, oh my god. Oh my god. Fort Mine. Oh. The Jingle Slayer, the Jingle Ranger, Skull, uh, Snowy Slayer, Krampus. The Battle Pass. Season three. We were in Season 3 of the Battle Pass. We were in Season 3. Nogobs as part of the Battle Grinch Hat as part of the Battle Pass. Pickle Emoticon. Snowball Fight Emoticon. V-Bucks. Power Up. Penguin Belly. Sliding? Damage. Oh. V-Bucks. Power Up. For you, Emoticon. Elf Hat. 100 V-Bucks. The Merry... What? Holy... If I can remember correctly... This is Fort Mine. This is Tilted Towers. Oh my god. Remember this. <laughs> Don't buy gas. Don't buy weed from the gas station. <laughs> Tomato Town, very close to Tilted, along with the fucking Dirt Burger, also very close to Tilted, and Tomato, and the fucking Tomato Head place, whatever it's called. I forgot. Uh, here's an original location, Robo Corpse, but uh, it got blown up. Trident. Yeah. I think there was like a YouTube video like in Brant's channel that was like what happened to this location? Like it was it's it's somewhere. There's a cave. Just imagine imagine just opening a chest. You found a chest. Thank God. You are happy. You open the chest, you realize it's nothing inside besides a dead bush. How sad. You play Battle Royale or play Save the World? Oh no. Where did it go? No! Oh, so, um, Fortnite. Fort. Fortnite. <laughs> Fort Mind didn't start as. A Battle Royale stuff. It started as Save the World. Why Save the World? Why not? I thought Save the World was alright. It had potential-ish. But like... I mean, look where we are today. And over here should be a, a... A llama. A mini llama. Yeah. So, first you need to activate the Storm Shield. And then... After you activate the Storm Shield... You can- Oh my god! Who's putting these penises in the fucking world? <coughs> Your reward is 50 gold ingots, a lever, and a minecart to go back. And then once you go back, you can actually play to Save the World. Rescue the survivors. I think the level the, the level design was like was similar to like what we did in the Mania World. Yeah, it's the level. Yeah, the level design is pretty similar to Mini Worlds, because like this was after Mini World. Someone did it. Oopsies. Rewards. I think this this part in the yeah complete the mission to pass. Uh, what I think what you have to do, what you have to do is fight the storm. <laughs> and then once you were like all done with these. Go to Plankerton. 
and then you can do these other stuff. I thought it was cool. Uh, this is, this is, uh, I forgot this one, but like, I remember this, and like, I forgot what was this location. I forgot what was this location's name. In, uh, Fortnite, there's a sign. Ah, Lazy Links, yeah, Lazy Links. Yeah, I remember this. This was, like, season four. And then over here, this is the location with the fucking wooden chest. And there's the asteroid. I crash landed. Uh, but yeah, that was Fortnite. It was some um, pretty experimental all day of Battle Pass. It was, but yeah, it was pretty experimental. Like... We were at the, like, during this time, we were just making worlds on games based on a lot of games we played a lot during this time. Like, we made a Bubsy world because Woolies, the Wooly Strikes Back. I realized the joke. The Empire Strikes, oh my god. Yeah, we made, like, worlds like Bubsy, Geometry Dash. All that old stuff. All the yeah, all that old stuff, but like... Even Fortnite. Fortnite, yeah. This world is kind of stupid. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough. Oh wait, 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 wait. I ain't no, hold up. The lobby. I already showed you this, but... I showed the lobby, but not the mini games. There's platforms! We would play this shit a lot. For whatever reason, it was fun. It's very simple, just knock each other off. It was so addictive, for whatever reason. But it was fun. Anyways, that's all I have to say for Fort Mine. Uh. Man, all of this is boring. When are we getting to the good part? Yeah, we've been just listening to you ramble about your role plays. And they just all feel the same. All right then, I will talk about Mania World. <gasps> is that the one Minecraft world with Sonic? Yeah. Oh. Something interesting! Eh? Unfortunately, if I want to, like, record Mania World, I have to get on here. Oh boy. Welcome back, cheater! Alright, Mania World. Wow. Oh boy. Mania World. You know what? I'm proud that this world is currently how it is or I love how <laughs> mania world is like one of the things that got me here at this current moment because like without mania world I feel like I wouldn't be out wouldn't be here with my um, Friends, man, I hate being sick. You know, it, it all originally started with um just Green Hill. Yeah, just Green Hill Zone. It wasn't gonna be like all of this. It was just gonna be the original level order of Sonic Mania. Like gr Green Hill, Chemical Plant, Studiopolis, Flying Battery, all that stuff. It eventually turned into a Sonic Generations world-ish. With new levels. And stuff like that. Which is kind of cool. Making those trailers were like... One of the fun things I did. Because like... I get to show people like, my world. And I remember times I said that I would like... Make a download once it's done. It's and once it was done, I I didn't know how to like make a download for it. So the best next thing was to like have people have me front end on PSN and then join the world from there. But like here's the problem: not everybody has a PlayStation 4, uh, and because of that, not everyone could have experienced Mania World. So. It then resulted in Mania World Switch, 
which was the cross version, crossplay version of Mania World. That one sucked, and like once Bedrock came out, I was like thrilled that there was a crossplay version. But I didn't know how to like make a download for it, so it was still on my PS4 until like. And then I transfer it to my um, PS5, and then I, I go. I went back to Mania World and realized that there's some flaws here. I went to like improve them, and that's what I did with so, with these levels, most of them. And then I figured out how to make. Mini World, something you can download for reals. It was like a dream come true. That felt felt like it would never happen, but it did happen. And like I'm proud of that. I was able to make Mini World downloadable. Now people can play it. All they need is just a computer and or any any device that has Bedrock. I'm sorry to those Java players, but like. You now have no excuse to play this world because, like, now you can. Since Minecraft is bundled with, you know, Bedrock, you can play, you know, this world. This world was built with Bedrock. Well, it was originally built in console, then Bedrock. But that's really it. <clears throat> I don't really think a Java version would, like, ever happen. Around the time where the data wipe happened, there was like levels like Water Palace, Marvel Zone being constructed, and because the data wipe happened, I lost progress. I could have lost the entire world, and like none of this would would have existed. No download, no trailers, nothing. We would have started from scratch, but. Thank God, to the miracle of me using the PSN, <clears throat> the PS Plus cloud saving, something that I never used. It was there, in my cloud. And I was so happy. That it was there. So, we um tried to finish what was, you know, needed to be finished. Such as... Titanic Monarch. This level was made by Brant, and um, he stopped somewhere, like, during Act 2. I was, like, taking full control of the entire level onward, as seen here. Once I was, like, done, I felt like it was over. No more Mania World, and I thought, what, what's going to, what's next in life? And, you know, stuff, stuff like that. And then down here would be like where Sega World would be. Uh, here's the Sega World. And honestly, I'm glad. I like how the world is how it is currently. Because, like, it's perfect how it is. But I wish there was like. We can, like. Because you can see, like, most of these were, like, probably done by a child because. The level design, some of these weren't creative, like, um, the entire Genesis era. So, like, I tried to, like, make them look, make them feel, like, good enough with the latest update, 1.3, 1.3, yeah. Where it looks like, looks, I don't know, the environment is now good-ish. Like, an example could be, like, Labyrinth Zone's, um, maze section. This part, uh, this part, now you can't see, you know, the entire maze that last time. You just have to guess where, you know. I then added walls. To, like, make it look like... This is, yeah, like... You're still inside of Labyrinth. And then go up here. 
and level Desert Dazzles over there, but like, not Desert Dazzle, but like the transition to like the Desert Dazzle box is there. I plan on making a Menial World 2 eventually. I mean, I am working on it, it's just that not much progress has been made since last time I worked on it. The characters, we would have to like, before the Sonic DLC, we had to use armor, leather armor to like represent the characters. And like, they're still here. But like, when 1.3 came out, um, or like, when Mania World actually came out, uh, teasers of like, a Sonic Minecraft world, an official Sonic Minecraft world was in the works, which had Sonic skins. Uh, it, it's alright, the Sonic skins are fine. And like, the world, the Sonic, the official Sonic DLC is alright, I guess. It's generated, which I don't like. It's like, I expected them to be handmade, like, you know, Mania World and Sonic Craft. Oh yeah, right. Sonic Craft was like a big inspiration for like, Mania World. Sonic Craft was like, the big thing. The big thing that, um, inspired me to, like, make a Menial World and no soul. It was just basically the big thing that inspired me to make a Menial World. I... But, yeah. It was fun revisiting my old Minecraft worlds. It brought back a lot of memories for me, honestly. And just visiting these worlds made me think, yeah, I have come so far in life, or something like that. I probably wouldn't be here if I didn't have a YouTube channel, you know? And I'm thankful to all of the friends who supported me over the years. They mean a lot to me, especially my group chat. These eight years, I have learned many things such as art and coding. I started art very early in life and wanted to improve my skills on it, which then resulted in stuff like this. Coding was just a thing that you would seem to be interesting since I had nothing to do during 2020. I have had many trials and errors with games like The Green Platformer, but eventually, I reached a moment where I felt I'm proud of doing this, which can't be seen when I release JG Wear. I also want to point out that I don't play Minecraft as much compared to how I did over those few years. Whenever I did get on the game, it would most likely be on Mania World or playing the console minigames with friends. There are more better things I would discover that would consider be better than Minecraft, but it still holds a place in my heart. I would most likely stop making any Minecraft related projects after Mania World 2, as I feel like I want to work on other stuff in life and move on. Before I end the video, I want to thank Emmy of Olivine for voicing Charlie and Nattybo for voicing Maxwell in the little segments with the JG characters. <laughs> I think that's everything I wanted to say. Uh, Thank you for 8 years, and I hope we can reach 10 years in the year 2025. <laughs> See you in the flip side, guys. Oh yeah, happy third anniversary to this channel, but that doesn't matter, um, the archives channel matters more than this one's anniversary, uh, toodles.